I'm Phil. And I'm Angelina. With our husky lightning and a lot of wildlife around us, we live in this fairy tale chateau in France. We love bringing this neglected castle back to life inside. And we've got the vast grounds and parkland to take care of as well. We love the moat, but it brings some challenges with it. But it's all worth it when we get to share it with everyone at our live music events. Follow the ups and downs of our chateau life. We received something in by delivery, manhole covers, and look at all the traffic we're holding up. This is our friend Rick, who's going to help us out today. Bonjour! And our postman. And of course the delivery man had to pull back because there's just no way out. Traffic never happens here. Anyways, let's see what presents our postman has got for us today. Super merci. Merci beaucoup. Au revoir. Billy, you want to tell us what we've received today through no, the post? No, this looks like a bill that's got to go Not this, no, <laughs> the delivery. Yes, of course. This is a manhole cover. Yes, we have some uh, covers that were cement-like. And, uh, well, they're located very close to the driveway. So, of course, naturally, the delivery driver's uh, driven over them. Or hey, it just will happen. You're going to have to stay back if you want to talk to the camera. All no, you're going to hear is that. It. And it's massive. It's basically cast iron. So, we're going to put it... Uh, well, replace the broken one and we've got another one coming next week because, well, they are in high demand. Uh, the area where we're going to place this, the first one that's missing, is uh, on the side of the chateau here, just past the swan house. And you will see exactly where Phil's going and this might answer the question why we placed the chair right there on the side. <laughs> This is where it's going. The reason I placed the chair there is so that no other cars or vans, you know, get trapped as they're reversing or driving just by accident. As you can see, there is the crack. And this actually leads into an old ancient septic tank, which Billy has actually fallen through almost. It was actually one of the videos where he fell through it. And um, it sort of used to filtrate and come out here into the moat. And uh, now this is obsolete and not used, but it's so old that obviously the uh, cover has cracked. So let's get on with opening and hopefully secure it. So go on boys, take it out. Let's get Such this. a massive paella dish. <laughs> Don't swear. <laughs> a paella dish, how's that swearing? No, you said effing. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. Anyways, show us the paella dish. We'll be cooking right here. <laughs> Look at our plate. Yeah, lovely. Um, it's quite nice. Is it heavy? No, it's light. It's light, okay. That's good. Well, hopefully it's strong. And no keys for it. No? Nothing in the package? Let's have a look. How do you lift the cover otherwise? Oh, that's all right. Yeah, uh, fitted. No, it's done. nothing. Done. Fitted, done. Quickest job you've ever done. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Get it over and done with so that we've got some things there. Do you, you think if we put some soil ups? around just to... Put some of them camping up to hold it down. I'll, uh, all I'll do is round the edge because this goes over where the concrete is. I'll just dig into it slightly. Yeah. Yeah. Put it down, put the soil back, and then it's. Let's right do level. that. Would you like me to get my little tool so that you can scrape away the soil around, yeah? No, I'll use a shovel like normal people. Okay. I don't think no, my tool will be easy. No, we've got it. We've got it. It'll be quick. Okay. Let's get that done. It wasn't less, but it's nice, quick, and easy. And I think. We all would like to be safe and know that, you know, one extra thing is ticked off the list. A long, long list. Snowdrops are out, which means it's well and truly winter and nice and cold. They're so cute. All right, and here it is, all done in place. Some hooked up. Phil wants to screw it into the base of the cement structure later on he'll need to get the right screws but it's looking really nice i think nice and tidy and sure enough it's obviously very very strong i think the idea is to level out this area with uh, soil around so that it will be flush um because at the moment it is a little bit protruding but not that much and i think it will be safe for all the drivers coming down this drive in the future and that's the main thing 
first job of the day is over and now on to job number two. Philly is out with extendable chainsaw. We just want to raise this canopy where our um, heating pellets go so that we can get in and out easily without having to clean ourselves <laughs> against these uh, branches of the uh, conifer tree. And here is how it's done. Whilst Billy is cutting that tree over there, or the branches, here is a uh, well harness that he will be wearing because the chainsaw for extended periods of time is going to cause some backache. Uh, so I guess he can look like um, Iron Man with a, I don't know, magic ball. I'm not sure how it goes, but look at that. That's epic. Absolutely epic. It's like a school kid going to school, but with armor. Uh, in bad neighborhoods. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna take this out to him now. Yeah. Billy, I got you your uh, bad neighborhood vest you need to put on. It's very dangerous out here, don't you know? <laughs> you know what, you didn't put it back, you didn't put it together for me. No, here you go, here's the manual instruction. Man, I don't need instructions. That's a jetpack. <laughs> he is a jet. He can fly, Iron Man and Flying Man. No, I've got no idea. Okay, sometime later on. <laughs> yes. So on to the actual job of the day. Trailer is been brought forward to the front of the shutter. We will be working or finishing off the job um, of colliding these trees with the tool. And of course, we've got a wreck here in the background over there. It'll be Muscle Man, a Muscle Man of the day. How are you feeling, Rick? You went so well over the last two weeks. No, we're all back. The sun's shining, feeling very positive. And uh, yeah, we will give a really good go with the chainsaw today on these last trees, which are basically located right on the edge of the moat wall. And as always, our dog is here to morally support <laughs> and he's doing a great job. How's it going, Lightning? What would you like to see happen and transform? Are you confident in our skills today to be able to... Uh... <laughs> oh, thanks. Oh, wow. That was a high five. Did you see that? <laughs> Thank you so much. I love that confidence. I think it's the sun, fresh air. And the positivity going around today everywhere. So let's get on with it. Beautiful sun is inspiring some flowers to come out. Can you see all of them just literally hidden amongst the greenery here in uh, in front of our chateau. That that's going to be really beautiful as they pop out. So Superman is going to extend now. It's Look. nice and simple, isn't it? This this one. Just twist and turn like a gardening window cleaning extension kit. That's a good <laughs> that's a good piece of kit. Yeah. It's just Yeah, that's still tight enough. Good. Yeah. So this goes up all the way up to four meters high. It's really good. Here's what it looks like now. Might be a lot easier than getting up a ladder and using loppers but it's still still uh, strong work but look at what we've managed to do and a lot quicker than it was before these ones are all done now 
I've even done the one that I, everything I can get to from the one hiding in the bamboo. And then it's just these three right on the moat banks. But trailer's getting full, so let's go to the skip over the road and get rid of that. Right, that is actually the end of this little section, uh, but it's not without some casualties which may be coming, and I'll show you. There are some things that might not be able to get saved. This one, which is leaning extremely heavily across the moat, and I've mentioned before, has knocked out all the walls and everything over there. I've been a bit violent with all the stuff that was weighted on that side to stop it leaning, because you can actually see the circle of the root ball underneath. It's starting to really pull out. <sighs> the two options there, because of what they're doing to the wall, is you have it down, no issue, or better still, what we're gonna do is we're gonna strap it in a triangle to that tree, to that tree, around, and that'll stop you going any further. Then when we can cut this lot back and get the wall rebuilt, we can then hopefully pull this back bit by bit in the meantime on a ratchet, just slowly so we're not hurting it. And then if we can get the wall built and backfill underneath it, perhaps we might be able to get that tree back and save it. The ones along, this edge, which shouldn't be there, and have destroyed this wall. I need to get the ivy off, which is never an easy task. And these ones, where they were all starting to go across as well, have been cut back to stop the, uh, the lean. But we shall see. Let's carry on tidying up. Rick's done a fantastic job as my groundsman here. So now it's just to finish tying this job and of course my favorite job, I'll get the waders on and get that lot out of the moat. So it's now the end of day. And I can finally say that this little section is done. Well, the pollarding those trees anyway. And uh, thank, thank heavens for the right tool, which made it so much quicker. And of course, for Rick's help. That was, a, that was a quick job, but does help. We obviously have a lot more to do, but here they are. They're all cut back and pollarded and now they will get to dry out in the sunlight and of course then they will start to bud and just have a nice small little canopy the grounds can get uh, we're going to have to um, get rid of the moss in all this area and reseed it and of course there is a reasonable amount of ivy and bits to get rid of and especially what's growing up around that tree so it's definitely not finished out here but it's looking a whole lot better and look at the view i wonder what it looks like from inside i bet it looks better you can see the chapel now